you know, most people would find it a little odd, I'm sure. I mean, a lot of people grow up in high school and they think to themselves, I can't ever imagine myself coming back. But in a way, it's kind of comfortable. Like, I come back, everything's pretty much the same, regardless of whether it's 10 years later. Most of the kids are of the same attitude, so you kind of know, you know, what kind of problems kids have. You know what kind of homework they're doing. Surprisingly, a lot of the homework assignments haven't changed. So I have quite a bit of an advantage and I enjoy helping people out with stuff that I used to do. Um, working here with former people that I you know, called teachers is a little odd because now I think of them as colleagues. I kind of have to reinvent myself and get over you know, the old reputation of being just a quiet kid who did work and didn't really talk to anyone. Uh, suddenly you have to uh, be a little more proactive, get to know everyone, do things that you wouldn't have done here. So it's like remaking your own, I don't know, legacy from the school you went to. Uh, specifically what I do here is, uh, it's difficult in a way. I find myself pretty socially uh, capable, so I'm good at going around talking to people, um, getting my point across, understanding what they're trying to say. It's, it's not that hard. For the most part, I just work on accountability. I see who's supposed to be in my class, who's supposed to be um, roaming the halls, who's supposed to be in what class, why they're there, why they're supposed to be here. You know, you guys see me in study hall, but I'm a study hall teacher. Unfortunately, I'm also computer police, which is regrettable. I'm not a big fan of that. And I'm also the hall monitor. So basically, they just want me around to make sure kids are doing what they're supposed to do. Um, I check out you know, what kids are supposed to do, what, if they're doing work while they're in class. I make sure kids, you know, have something to do, like see if they have assignments that they could get from teachers. Sometimes if there's specific kids who are just loud and talkative, I'll try to move them around so the kids around them can have more of a chance to do work. Granted, you know, nobody really likes me for that sort of stuff, but it's part of my job and I, I have to do it. Um, the hardest part about my job, I'd have to say, is uh, being able to take ideas from the administration and actively um, doing them with the kids. Many times people find it's easy to delegate tasks to me, but I find they're kind of hard to do because I don't really believe that they work. I don't like the way the administration sets up certain things, or I don't just agree with it. So the hardest thing for me is to be able to just be quiet, do what I'm supposed to do.